Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another shot my stash. First of all, excuse how I look. I look terrible. I've got no makeup on. My hair's needing washed and things but my hairdresser is coming round in a couple of hours to do my roots and things so I will put my makeup on after I've had my hair done so yeah apologies for that and um, so we're here just to have a little look at last week's products and re review those quite quickly and then choose my next week's products so last week I have had this plus this so um, I'm going to just run through really quickly and give you like my impressions on all the items that I'd selected and then yeah we'll get choosing next week's. So it was a much smaller collection this time so I've chosen a bit better. There are still some things I haven't used um, so I maybe need to try and keep it a bit tighter again moving forwards but it's all a learning process. So starting off with my foundation so I had this um, Superstay 24 hour um, is it a full coverage yeah full coverage by Maybelline um, I did like it it actually wasn't too matte um, on me I have had um, but I do use a lot of serums and bases and primers and blah 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 so that probably helps um, keep moisture in my face and maybe make it be a bit more radiant but no I did like it the shade was a good match but I'm going to put that back in my collection and choose something else to try I also had this lasting finish 25 hour with comfort serum by Rimmel again the shade wasn't too bad actually because I thought it was going to be too dark but it was all right it does smell a bit funky um, I'm not sure if that's the scent it's meant to be or not so when I'm in town over the next couple of days I think I'm gonna have a little sniff of one of the testers in the shop and if this smells a bit weird compared to that I will come back and declutter but I'll let you know about that next week if I do so actually I'll keep it in for next week just to remind me um, I had this, I haven't used it actually, it was the Ardair Brow Fibre, um, I didn't do my brows this week at all, been really lazy, um, and that was it there, it does have a little brush, and it doesn't look too bad a shade for me, so um, am I likely to use it this week, I'm just trying to think. I've got today and tomorrow, I've got a couple of days off and I've got like a nine day stretch at work. So I'm going to put it away because it's probably not going to be the opportunity to have very extravagant makeup and to need to do my brows. So I'll pack that away. Um, next thing was the Figs and Rouge Soft Focus Pore Perfect HD Matte Veil Hydra Pore from Figs and Rouge. <laughs> Quite a mouthful. It was fine. It didn't do anything amazing. Um, I think I've got better primers. But it wasn't awful and I will, um, yeah, it was fine. But I'm going to pack it away. I want to try something different. Did I have another primer? Oh, yeah. And I had this little one from Illamasqua. This is the Hydra Veil. And it's like a little, it's like jelly. I don't know if you can see in there. It is, I just want to try and get a bit there. You can see it's just really, really strange consistency. But it is nice. But what I hadn't thought about this week, I didn't get any like illuminating primers. So I need to try and think about getting maybe like a poreless one and maybe trying to get an illuminating one. But again, it was nice. Um, I don't know if they're much different just really to using your moisturiser, to be honest. It didn't do anything amazing, but it is a nice primer. Um, I have got this Ultra Strobe Cream from Revolution. Um, so this is quite golden. And what I did do with this, you could probably mix it in with your foundation if you wanted. But once I put my foundation on, I put it over my cheekbones before I did my blush and things. And it just added a really soft sheen. And that is it here. And when you rub it in, I don't know if you're going to see, it is quite, there you go, you've got just a really subtle shimmer and actually just putting it straight on top of the foundation like the cream on cream it, it was really really pretty and then um, yeah that was that so I will be keeping that but I'll pop it away um had my old trusty Kate um little trio someone had asked me before about the color of this and it is 002 is it coral glow you can still purchase this i've had it for ages but it is the prettiest blush and it looks so nice on photos so yeah that will be definitely staying um i had this bronzer um from max factor it's really good if you're sort of fairish it's a perfect perfect color i got it quite a while ago in latest in beauty that's it there. Let's see if you can see. It's just a really, really 
nice bronzer it is not too orange not too deep and it is as i say if you're quite fair it is a really really nice one so i'm keeping that um had my laura geller gelato highlighter and actually i used this on my lids a couple of days i used the bronzer in my crease on my eyes and i used this on my lids and it made a really really nice little combo of a really simple easy eye look um this is it here i absolutely love it it's so pretty it is a golden um highlighter and um yeah it's lovely keeping that my hourglass finishing powder it gives you a glow it's beautiful that's it here can i see if i can it's not so much it's not like a highlighter it's definitely a finishing powder but it just it makes your skin really smooth and just puts like a radiance into it it does come in slight in different shades and then um, but this was a little one that i got in my l beauty advent calendar um, I used the Annabelle Minerals, so this is a mineral blush, it's a powder blusher um, here, so I'll just pop you a little bit here and show you. Um, quite nice, and I did like it, and it gives a really pretty colour, I'd say you need a light hand, don't put loads on. So as you can see there, it's a powder that looks a bit of an odd colour, but if you put it here, and then as you start to rub it in it kind of develops the color and it's a really nice sort of subtle flushed rosy sort of cheek look that it gives you that's it there so it's really pretty and then um, i did like it and then um, obviously with it being minerals it's sort of quite good for your skin um oh too faced the unicorn tears bronzer now i thought this was going to be absolutely terrible because it is very sparkly it smells amazing oh it's like is it vanilla and it's absolutely gorgeous so it does look very very glittery but um i just sort of got out the brush swelled the colors together and then just put it over sort of almost like a bronzer slash blush and it is so nice and it just gives a glow it doesn't look sparkly um so if you just rub the colors together that's it here and let's put that if you just see there it's just like a real golden color and it's not sparkly it's not glittery but it has a sheen and an iridescence and it's really really pretty it's got a great mirror in it as well so yeah and it snaps shut i really really love that surprisingly i loved it um next thing is the cyo um coal gel eyeliner in the shade has it got a shade color on it high flyer so this is like a teal eyeliner i haven't used it um this week but it's really nice if you've got like a, a quite a nude eye or like bronze colored eyes and this is really nice on your um lower lash line and look at the color it's just like sort of peacock turquoisey blue it's absolutely stunning and um, it goes on so easily with it being a gel liner and yeah i absolutely love it so i'm keeping that even though i've not worn it this week um right oh this um is a six blush palette it's cream blushes let me show you it by the balm how about them apples and it reminds me of the old ladybird books that you used to get when you were little and inside so first of all you've got a huge mirror um but then it says take your pick and what's really good is it's got a lot of topless cowboys so even if you don't want the blushes just have a little look in the morning and that will cheer you up and um, so i used a couple of colors in this and again i sort of used like the um where was it so yeah i put this on first like the strobe cream the revolution strobe cream then i'll pop this on my cheeks really lovely this color here which is cider really really pretty shade um that's it there and it just is really smooth it kind of almost goes cream to powder and it's just a really really pretty natural color once it's on your cheeks i also use this darker um orangey sort of um terracotta color called caramel um and that is it here and again so i think this would work on all skin tones it's a really good mix of shades and i got that in one of my look incredible boxes last year i think so yeah i really really like it the mirror as i say is huge but um yeah i'll be keeping that if only for the half naked cowboys um 
All right, so this is a honey bronze lip gloss from The Body Shop. It's just like a nude -y, um a nude lip gloss um, with a bit of sparkle but it's really nice if you're just having a natural look it is sticky it's got one of these tops and um, the tips here so you just put it on with the plastic applicators and um, that is it there but it is very very sticky but it is a nice natural lip but you have to reapply it a lot um, next thing is this um, liquid lip it is an estate lipstick in the shade treat um now i love the color it was so uncomfortable what a shame um i think i'm going to get rid of it actually i'm going to declutter um i tried it as well with a balm under first i tried it with a balm over the top but that is the shade so it's such a nice shade but i do have other um lipsticks so i'm just gonna yeah get rid of it i think because there's no point keeping it if you just can't wear it and then um, it's quite similar to my huda beauty one and that is the most comfortable lipstick so sadly i love the color but i hate the formula so it is going oh this makes me sad um next thing was this avon lipstick in the color um marvellous mocha i got this in my latest in beauty selection it's still on the website if you want to pick it and it is a brown matte this is such a comfortable matte and it's more like a satin matte if that makes sense it's quite a creamy matte so it's not drying on your lips um this is it here it is an absolutely gorgeous color on i'm so happy i picked it um and i would definitely say if you get any more um, Avon lipsticks on latest and beauty I'll be picking them because it is so nice it lasted really well and as I say it doesn't dry your lips down so yeah oh my gosh I found a lipstick I like <laughs> yay um also another sort of cheapy one is this um lipstick and this is by George which is Asda if you don't know and it says satin lipstick in the shade rare and another success this is so comfortable to wear um that's it there so it's a bit more of a mauve nude and it is creamier um it stays on reasonably well but you definitely need to reapply it several times throughout the day but it is a really nice color so yeah a really good week on my colors um this is the lrc liquid shimmer shadow and this was in the shade top no it's not it's in the shade eclipse it's not top at all. I'm just making it up. I can't read. Um, again, another lovely colour. This went on and then it dried. So it's on a dough for applicator. It is incredible. That is it there. So let me try and do it here so you can see it catching the light better. Look at that. It is absolutely stunning. And then it, um, it dries. And um, yeah, and it just stays on. It is absolutely beautiful. That would be great for your holidays. Like... I don't bother with makeup much if I'm around the pool, but if you're in and out of the water, that would probably stay put. I mean, I've not tried it, but it certainly gives the impression that it would just stay on all day long. Oh, hang on. I'm back. Percy's just brought my look fantastic. Yay. <laughs> right, where was I? I'm out of breath. I've run up and down the stairs. <sighs> next thing was this um Burt Bees lip crayon. And this was actually really nice, quite pink. Um that's it there but really easy to use and with it being in a pencil and this screws up and down I loved it I've had such a good week this week with my makeup now oh yes this pencil was a Rimmel grey coal pencil and um, that's it here it is quite hard but it goes on easily and it's a really nice soft grey so I definitely like that I'm definitely moving more towards um, eyeliners well <laughs> Ruby towards eyeliners which aren't black for my lower lash line so yeah I'm really really enjoying that a much softer look so yeah I love it now mascara we have this is by Essence and it's Lash Princess and it is the Volume Mascara. So this is like the orangey one. They have got different colours. I think they've got a green one. They might have a purple one in the Lash Princess range. And honestly, they're absolutely incredible. They're so cheap. I absolutely loved it. I've had it for ages. I've forgotten all about it. So this is 
the wand. Bit of an unusual shape, but it is really good. And I have to say, because I just used my Benefit Bad Gal Bang last week, this is, in looks, once you've done it, so similar to the Benefit Bad Gal Bang in that it... Um, it does lengthen your lashes, it makes you have really, really good lashes. They're not clumpy, they're well defined, they're long, they are fuller, but as I say, they're not like spider legs. And literally, it's only a few pounds. So, if you've got a Wilco's near you, I think some Primax, maybe Stock Essence as well, and I think you can get them online. But um, yeah, check them out, the Princess Lash Range. We've got lots of different ones, but unbelievable. I'm so happy with that. I'm glad I've rediscovered it. So, yeah, brilliant. Now, I tried this, this was the Nourishing Mascara by Botanique Beauty that I got in last month's Birch Box. Um, the wand is like that. And to be fair, it actually wasn't a bad mascara. Um, and you just take a, took a couple of goes, I think, to sort of get it going and get the brush properly loaded with it being new. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. Got a decent volume and length and it coated the lashes really, really well. So I'll keep that back in for now. And then this one is the Lottie London hashtag flash gold mascara. And I got this as a freebie for referring someone in my birch box. Now, the actual mascara itself, like the, the black liquid, the formula, I actually think is probably really nice. But this brush, I just can't get on with it. It is the weirdest thing. So it kind of You've got a thin end and a fat end, but then it spirals round. I don't know if you can see. And it makes application so difficult. I really, really struggled. I kept getting it on my um, upper lids and that. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to keep it because the actual mascara itself seems nice. And I'm going to maybe see when I finish one of my other mascaras, if there's a wand in there that I like. Wash And if it fits onto this, and I'll wash the wand and then try and use that wand instead because it seems a shame to get rid of it just because I don't like the brush. But if I can't find that, I'll end up decluttering in the future. But I'm going to hold on to it for now and give it the benefit of the doubt. And then finally, my last item is the Lord & Berry Lip Pencil Vintage Rose Lip Liner. And this was in our birch box last month as well. And I really, really liked it. It's a really nice colour. It's... um. That's it there. I'll put it here. If you can see. So it is really creamy and soft and lovely. And I loved it. Oh, it's not my last thing. My Origin palette. Um, this is a Beauty Bear palette. Um, it has a huge mirror. And these are the shades. And you're meant to be able to do a complete eye look with each column. And it's got all like your base colour, your transition, your crease, your pop of colour. Um, your liner etc etc and it is gorgeous you've got shimmers and mattes and a great selection it's all the sort of colors I love so of course I'm keeping that now let's go choose my next week's products right then so let's get picking some products for the week so looking at primers let us try the MAC prep and prime and this is a natural radiance base so that's my little glowy one so we'll give that one a go and we will try let's see what else have we got in here that i've not used oh we've got a little sachet what's that oh let's just try this it is a last minute base instant smooth perfecting touch and that is by clarins um, not sure what this is, but we'll give that a go. So between those two, that should be fine, I think, for the week. I'm at work a lot, so it'll be all right. Now, I've kept my um, Rimmel foundation over just to make sure it's not a funky smelling thing. And so let's put in the 24-hour freshwear from L'Oreal. We'll try that. And I'll also pop in, this feels nearly empty, actually, the um, Infallible Pro Glow as well. So it's a L'Oreal week there. Um, I'm not going to bother with any powders. I'm not going to bother with any concealers. Right then. So looking at cheeks first of all. Let us see. What shall we have? Have we tried this yet? 
have I used this one? I know I've used this one. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, let's try this. This is a bit warmer sort of colour. So this is the Revolution Blush Palette in Peachy Bronzed Goddess. So we'll do that. And is there one more we can try? Um, da -da -da. Oh, here we go. And this is a Benefit one and it is a California. There we go. We'll try that. Oh, that looks pretty new. Maybe only tried it once or twice. So yeah, let's give that one a go. So it looks like a nudie sort of week a natural week what have we got here what's this ultra strobe and light palette okay so we'll use that for our highlighters i might be able to use some of those as well as eyeshadow colors and um, we can see a bit better there so yeah we'll give that a go um so we use them I say bronzer. I better get a little bronzer, I think, just in case. Not that I use much of my bronzer, but we'll give it a bash. Let's get the manicada back out. And then highlighters. We've got those highlighters. Um, shall we try? Let's try this as well, whatever on earth this is. And this is a revolution. Um, and it's just like a... Don't know, or like a little highlight stick chubby crayon thing. Not sure what we'll do that for, but we'll have a go and see what we think and see what the formula's like. So that is that draw. Moving down to eyeshadows. So as I say, I'm at work. Let me move you down. I'm at work a lot of the week, so we don't need anything too extravagant. Um, Oh, I got this from my gorgeous friend Lynette. So let's give this a go. It's the um, Magnifies Spice Edition. This looks beautiful. Look at that. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to try this palette. And that is it. I'm maybe get a single eyeshadow out. Um, hey, look at me. Just, oh, ah, just dropped some. Just choosing one. Um, right then. So where are we? Mascaras. Let's have a little look. I want to try and get down to the bottom and use some that I've not used for a while. Oh, what's this? This looks like it could be like you shouldn't belong in here. This is a very old Rimmel. Um, oh, it's like it's a Max Factor mascara. So I'll give that a go. I've got a feeling that might be going in the bin. Um, and we've got. I am going to be at work. So I need nothing that's too dramatic. What's this? This is a Velvet Fifty Nine. By, Port, oh, by Paris Han Manning and that is my fair lashes so yeah let's get that one a go and then one more I think and let's do the number seven intense volume there that's a good little selection of mascaras I'm not going to bother with brows eyeliners just something naturalish Okay, well, let's just try a black one. So this is really black and it is by Clinique. It's a quick liner and then something a little bit more natural. I do sometimes use, um, oh, what's this? I do sometimes use um, blah, 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 um, eyeshadows as liners as well. And this is an Yves Saint Laurent, and it looks like it's like a navyish one. So we'll give that one a go as well. And then a little, mis a little. I can't speak today. Let's get a little single shadow. Oh, I know what I want to use again. Let's try one of these little roller ones. Let's try this one, and it is the Manakada Diamond Dust in the shade Pixie. Right, oh, we're getting there. We're doing better this week. I think we're getting a bit quicker. So, lips. Um, so, we'll try the other um, colour of the other Burt's Bees. I've used one of them today, so let's see if I like this one as well. So, this is a more sort of orangey one to help go with my more sort of naturally look. I am going to... Get out 
Let's see. Let's try one of these incredible ones. Let us get this. So this is an incredible glazing over in the shade more love less likes how appropriate for social media at the moment that'll do and um don't need anything from there let's move down to the bottom drawer let's bring you down i just turned you off by mistake sorry let's bring you in here and just get one let's get a little glass of the glass are you there still yeah Let's get this out and see what we've got. Now, let's get this Honey Lacquer by Max Factor. And that's your jolly lot, I think, for today. Do I need another lippy? Do I? Do I? Maybe one more? One more. Let's have a quick look. I'll just, should we do a lucky dip? I'm not going to look. I'm just going to grab something. <gasps> Well, that was lucky. <laughs> that could have gone terribly wrong. So this is a Rouge edition and it is a bourgeois. Oh, this looks quite nice. And then um, there we go. So that is it for the week. I'll pack it away and just show you quickly. Wow, there hardly seems anything here. I think I'm finally cracking this and getting it sorted. So I have got a couple of primers as i said so i've got my little primer here and then my sachet here i've got my three foundations and then moving on to cheeks i've got my bronzers here with some highlighters and some um sort of blusher colors there i've got three mascaras at the back a couple of eyeliners i've got this um highlighter crayon that i want to try I've got a lip gloss, got my lip colours here, my favourite standby Charlotte Tilbury Pillar Talk, and then um, a little single blush and a single eyeshadow, which also probably could maybe do as a blush as well. So, oh, and my um, palette here to use. So that is it. I think that's a really good selection this week. A bit more realistic just for the week. So, yeah. I'm going to turn you around and have a little chat. So that is my choices for the next seven days. I hope you've enjoyed watching today. Um, let me know if you've used any of these products, if you like any, if you don't, and what your thoughts were on last week's selection as well. So take care, guys. Don't forget, I have got my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. If you want to know how to enter, do check out my um, Grazia unboxing. Um, I'll pop a link down below so make sure you enter that one and then i'll see you all again very soon bye for now see you later